The German shepherd's ancestry can be traced back to the diverse herding duck of central and southern Germany. In the late 19th century, as Germans transitioned from an agrarian to an industrial society, a need arose for a standardized working dog breed. This prompted Captain Max von Stefanitz, a cavalry officer and dog enthusiast, to embark on a project to develop a breed that would embody the ideal working dog traits. According to the American Kennel Club, there are 15 officially recognized colors for German Shepherds. These colors are divided into two categories, common colors and rare colors. Of these 15 items, 12 are known to the world, including 7 are more well known and 5 that are rare. We're gonna introduce these breeds and then talk about the genetic reasons for color changes. Number 1. Black and Tan The black and tan color is the most common and well known color of the German Shepherd. It is thought to have originated in Germany in the early 1800s. The first German Shepherd dog ever registered, Horen van Grafrus, was black and tan. Number 2. Black and Cream The black and cream color is a variation of the black and tan color. It is characterized by cream markings on the leg, chest, and face in a set of tan markings. The black and cream color was first introduced in the United States in the early 1900s. Number 3. Black Sable The black sable color is characterized by a black coat with sable colored markings. Sable markings are a mixture of black and tan hairs. The black sable color was first introduced in Germany in the early 1920s. Number 4. Red Sable The red sable color is similar to the black sable color, but with red markings instead of tan markings. The red sable color was first introduced in Germany in the late 1920s. Number 5. Black and Silver The black and silver color is characterized by a black coat with silver markings. Silver markings are a mix of black, gray, and white hairs. The black and silver color was first introduced in Germany in the early 1930s. Number 6. Red and Black The red and black color is characterized by a black coat with a red markings. Red markings are a mixture of black and tan hairs. The red and black color was first introduced in Germany in the late 1930s. Number 7. Bicolor The bicolor is characterized by a black or sable coat with white markings. White markings can be on the face, legs, chest or all over the body. The bicolor color is thought to have originated in Germany in the early 1900s. Number 1. Isabella The Isabella color is a variation of black. It is characterized by a light gray or silver coat with tan marking. The Isabella color is a rare color of the German Shepherd. Number 2. Lever The lever color is a variation of brown. It is characterized by a deep brown coat with black markings. This color is another attractive but rare color of the German Shepherd. Number 3. Blue The blue color is a dilute form of black. It is characterized by a gray or blue coat with tan markings. This rare color makes the German Shepherd look more terrifying than ever. Number 4. Panda the panda color is characterized by a black mask and white coat. The white coat can be solid or have markings. This color is definitely the coolest color for German Shepherd because it doesn't have that intimidating look all the time. Number 5. Albino 
The albino color is a lack of pigmentation. Albino German Shepherds have a white coat and pink skin. Definitely, albino is the rarest color for this breed. It is important to note that the development of new colors in the German Shepherd breed is an ongoing process. New colors are sometimes introduced through selective breeding and they may not be recognized by the American Kennel Club for many years. The genetic reason for color difference in German Shepherds is due to a variation in three main genes the agouti, the extension, and the pheomelanin gene. Number 1. Agouti gene The agouti gene determines where and how much black pigment is produced in the hair. There are two main alleles of the agouti gene, AY and AW. Dogs with the AY allele have black and tan markings, while dogs with the AW allele have solid black coats. Number 2. Extension Gene The extension gene determines whether black pigment is produced at all. There are four main alleles for the extension gene, capital E, EM, EG, and a small e. Dogs with the capital E allele have black coats. Dogs with the EM allele have brown coats. Dogs with the EG allele have grizzled coats and the dogs with the small e allele have red coats. Number 3. Pheomelanin gene The pheomelanin gene determines how much red pigment is produced in the hair. There are two main alleles of the pheomelanin gene, capital P and small p. Dogs with the capital P allele have the red coats, while dogs with the small p allele have cream coats. The interaction of these three genes is what determines the wide variety of coat colors seen in German Shepherds. For example, a German Shepherd with the AY allele, the capital E allele, and the capital P allele will have a black and tan coat. A German Shepherd with the AW allele, the EM allele, and the capital P allele will have a brown coat while a German Shepherd with the AW allele, the small e allele, and the small p allele will have a cream coat. The genetic basis of coat color in German Shepherds is a complex topic, and there are many other genes that can also play a role. However, the three genes described above are the most important ones. We have a lot of videos on our YouTube channel that introduce and compare different dog and cat breeds. If you are interested in this type of video, be sure to check out our channel. What do you think of today's video? Let us know in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Love you so much. Bye-bye.